Joining us here from Commodity Classic, National Corn Growers Association President Kevin Ross. Kevin, coronavirus dominating the headlines, impact that you think it might have on the corn industry? Sure, you know, the, the uh, virus itself, uh, very tough to determine the total economic impact worldwide on this right now. I think uh, it's got a lot of people scared and has a lot of uh, uh, issues that it's causing transportation wise and things like that, and certainly access to, uh, you know, food and, and uh, feedstuffs for that matter. Um, products have to move and we have to get uh, corn moving, you know, across the entire world. And I think uh, uh, this one's very t tough to, to determine how this impact's gonna lay out. So you've had a lot of trade wins, Japan, USMCA, China. How do you see demand ramping up here as we go through the year once we get maybe coronavirus out of the picture? Yeah, I think it sets up uh, for late in the year a lot better, uh, you know, structure in general for for core markets. Um, but obviously, you know, we've got to get through planning and we've got to get through, uh, uh, you know, South American beans are going to put pressure on our markets up here and that 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 fight for acres here that we're going to be dealing with here in the next month. Um, I, you know, it's it's going to be really interesting to see how that plays out, but I think we're going to plant a lot of acres of corn this year, and hopefully the demand side of that picture looks a lot better this fall than it did right. the previous one. 2019 was a tough year for the ethanol industry. Talk about what we see going ahead here, especially now that you have this court case that has gone in your favor. Yeah, I think uh, EPA is going to have to address that uh, court case hopefully soon. and. Um, I think uh, in general, um, the 10th Circuit Court case was a big win for us, uh, and hopefully, you know, it, it showed exactly what we've been talking about, that the waivers they were giving um, were, were not, not, uh, not legal, first of all, and, and uh, certainly, um, you know, that, that process or that uh, judgment will transfer, you know, to the way they administer the rest of these going forward. And even, you know, a lot of these gallons that, uh, that were lost, uh, we'll see if we can make up for some of those in the, in the you know, next round here. Well, we see that in the final language here in the RFS. I sure hope so. I don't know if we will or not, but we're going to fight for it every day. Okay. Appreciate your time. Thanks so much for joining us. National Corn Growers Association President Kevin Ross.